What's up everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at a player y'all requested, someone I've been very interested in taking a deep dive in, and that is Slade Bolden. You know, with Alabama set to lose yet another two wide receivers to the first round of the NFL draft, it is going to be incredibly important that some of the veteran guys step up, and one of those guys could be Slade Bolden, even with the incredibly stellar wide receiver class Alabama just signed. But before we take a deep dive into Slade Bolden, I want to hear from y'all. So hop down into the comments and give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe that Slade Bolden will be able to fend off some of these newer guys coming in and be able to retain a position at slot? And let me know why. Guys, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I'm on my push to 2,000 subscribers and I do constant college football content, whether it's film analysis like this or general talk style videos, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. If you enjoy the video, drop a like and comment down below because likes and comments go a long ways in helping channels like mine get picked up by the YouTube algorithm. But with all that being said, let's hop straight into it. But Slade Bolden has a really unique skill set, and he got the lion's share of his production after Jalen Waddle's injury. And in a play like this right here, this was something you saw a lot from Slade Bolden and Sark. A very simple motion in the play right here, just a simple swing route, but I love this right here because it's something that I call bailout routes. They're not sexy, but they are incredibly important to an explosive offense because if you can't get it deep, you have to keep the defense honest with everything underneath. Right here, Arkansas is completely selling out to stop the deep ball. So what do you do? You chip away and chip away with routes exactly like this until they have no choice but to come up. And then you hit them over top. Simple, right? But remember what I keep saying. Simplicity can be the key to brilliance. And as simple as it may look, I bring it up because it shows that the Alabama coaching staff trusts Slade Bolden to be the guy in those situations to take a easy gain into something positive. And that might not seem like much, but when you back it up with a play like this, it really does explain why they have that trust in them. And this right here is incredibly important. Receiver coaches, if any of you are watching, I implore you, please show your receivers film of the Alabama Crimson Tide receivers when they don't have the ball. These dudes love making plays for each other as much as they love making plays for themselves. And right here we see Slade Bolden initiate contact and allow Javon Baker to spring free. Now Javon Baker, another guy Crimson Tide fans have to be incredibly excited about moving forward into next season. But let's take a look at Slade's route running. And right here he does a crisp double move. Let's slow it down on his release and we can really see how he sets up this cornerback to where the cornerback didn't have a chance. So as we see, when he does this little hesitation step, the cornerback is already jumping back on his heels. He's lost. As soon as Slade takes off, the balance game is already 100% in his favor, and as we can see, he's already breaking free. If he wanted to, and if he didn't have any safety over top, Matt could have hit him for a touchdown all day, every day. And remember what I said earlier about lulling a defense to sleep with the underneath as we take a look at this in super slow motion. Right there, it's already lost. Slade Bolden has won this battle, as the corner could have been anticipating another underneath, and it's done. Okay, but that was Kentucky. How about against Florida? Well, right here, he sets up this corner and once again just beats him. Now we're going to take a look at this and even stop it to draw it up. So right here, we're going to see that Florida's in straight man-to-man, -man, and the guy I have highlighted in red is going to be the blitzing linebacker coming across the formation, and Slade Bolden sees this, so he knows that the middle of the formation is wide open. And given that it's man, we can probably guess that the DB is looking to put hands on Slade coming off the line, and Slade knows this, and he's very smart in his release. What he does is he drops his left shoulder, which forces the cornerback to initiate contact on the outside, almost on Slade's back. And if you think about that, what he's doing is pushing him to the middle of the field, which is where Slade is already going. Slade forces the cornerback to initiate the contact in a way that will only help him get open further on into the route. And that's exactly what it does. It puts the cornerback off balance from the get-go and puts him in a chase position. So that that way when Slade actually breaks on the slant, he just creates even more separation, all from the cornerback's initial mistake. It also helps when you have Devontae Smith at the bottom of the route completely break off a corner so that the safety has to account for him. I mean, my goodness, if it wasn't enough that he just beat them all day, even when he didn't get the ball, he was just sunning sons. Oh! But in all seriousness, let's get back to Slade Bolden, and I want to end it with the Tennessee game, the game he came in in relief for Jalen Waddle, because he showed a lot of really interesting things there, especially against zone coverage. He is deadly against zone. And I'm not going to lie here, I'm going to go out on a limb because I'm not 100% sure what route Slade is running here, but based on everything that is happening, it looks to me like it's an option route where they're allowing him to make a decision about where he's breaking in the route depending on the coverage. And this is something you see a lot from Slade. He'll find the open area and he's really, really good at that, which is going to be 
super important with a brand new quarterback and some new pieces along the offensive front. And remember what I said to start off this video, that they'll utilize Slade in a multitude of ways, just like this right here, where he starts off in the backfield next to Mac Jones and then finds himself splitting out wide on a motion. And look, even though this play doesn't work, you gotta love this design, and this is something I think that Alabama will keep with Bill O'Brien, because it's an easy completion for the new quarterback. Slade is a very smart player who the Alabama coaching staff trusts. Look, they wouldn't have put him back on punt return if they didn't trust him. Slade just needs to work on his ball security, but other than that, he's a super important piece for a new quarterback because of how smart he is in getting open. And he doesn't have to use a bunch of tricks either. He can just straight up beat cornerbacks as this route right here exemplifies, especially from the back angle, we'll get a really good look. Look, a player like Slade Bolden is incredibly important. And even with all of the talent incoming, I think that Slade Bolden is going to be a super important piece of this offense because of how smart he is in his ability to get open. As we see from the back angle, even though he uses a bunch of tricks right here, he just straight up beats a corner. What's more, sometimes he'll just use his straight up athleticism and his tricks to beat you. Watch at the top of this route how he completely fakes the corner. The corner thinks he's automatically going to the inside right there. As soon as that corner has his hips turned so much towards the inside, biting on Slade Bolden's shoulder fake, it was over. When Slade Bolden jumped back out to the outside towards the sideline, he'd already won that battle and he had plenty of separation. But reps like this are exactly why I'm so excited to see Slade Bolden with a new quarterback because I think he's going to be paramount for Bryce Young, who I believe will win the job. Right here, when we see this replay, we can see that he identifies the cushion in the coverage and he actually slows down his route to increase the window of openness he had for Mac Jones. That's the kind of smarts I'm talking about in the trickery. Seeing that he had a window of openness and slowing down his route just long enough so that Mac could make an easy throw. That's the kind of stuff that is huge for a new quarterback. There's really only one thing Slade Bolden needs to work on, and it's something I think that can be easily fixed, and that's his fumbling. But on this rep right here, it kind of exemplifies the good and the bad. He's able to get open, but there's the fumbling I'm talking about, and it's not like this was a one-off. He actually had a few fumbles, and relatively high fumble per usage rate. Now, that is a bit of an exaggeration, and in no means do I think he has a fumble problem, because as this play right here showed, it was a great defensive play, and the other ones were kind of fluky. But I want to hear from y'all. What do you think about Slade Bolden, and do you think he'll be able to hold on to this position? Because I have to say, I was incredibly impressed when watching his film, and I can't wait to see what he does next year, because I have no doubt he will make an impact. That's it. See ya.